Hey everyone, in this video we would like to discuss uh, the definition of power factor or what is the meaning of uh, power factor. So what is the meaning of power factor? Power factor is simply a, an abbreviation or a definition for the efficiency of power used. Okay, efficiency of power used. So again, the power factor is a measure of how effectively incoming power is used in your electrical system. And it is defined as the ratio of the real working power to the apparent or total power. So what does this mean? Okay, let's see what we have here. Now you will see that here we have uh, two types of power. One which is called the real power another one called the reactive power okay and the summation of these two powers gives us something which is called the apparent power so what is the difference between them okay apparent power is considered as the vector summation of the real power and the reactive power real power measured in kilowatt reactive power measured in kilovar apparent power measured in kilovolt ampere so uh, what is the meaning of first the real power real power in kilowatt it is the power that actually powers the equipment or the uh, kind of power which performs useful productive work so this one is considered as the useful power the one which actually does work okay so it's called the actual power the active active power or working power as an example this power is the one which produces the mechanical power inside the electric motors okay so the electric motor its function is to produce a mechanical power or mechanical movement so mechanical movement is considered as a useful power so this power is is coming from the real power or the active power but what is the meaning of reactive power or kilovar the unit of its measurement is kilovar the reactive power is considered as the power required by some equipment such as transformers motors relays so what is the benefit of this power this power or reactive power is used to produce the magnetic field inside the motors inside uh, generators inside relays transformers in order to enable the real work to be done okay so as we remember from the principle of operation of transformers we know that we need to convert the uh, magnetic energy into uh, electric energy and electric energy to magnetic energy and etc so you are having an electromagnetic conversion so in order to convert from electric to magnetic we need magnetic field or we need the reactive power here so the reactive power actually does not produce any useful work it is useless except to just to produce a magnetic field okay so what is important for us and what is useful for our machines is the real power so it is necessary to operate certain equipment but you don't see any result for its use for its use meaning the reactive power the apparent power in the end which is this one representing in kilovolt ampere is the vector sum of the real power in kilowatt and reactive power in kilovar and it is the total power supplied through the grid or through the power mains that is required to produce the relevant amount of real power so let's type it now so uh, we need to see the apparent power or the relation between the apparent power you see that this one is the apparent power in volt ampere b is the active power and q is the reactive power so the relation between them is like this s is equal to b which is the active power plus j q 
okay so you can see that the s which is the apparent power supplied by our transformer our generator is uh, all of them are measured in s or measured in uh, apparent power or in kilovolt ampere is equal to B which is the useful power plus JQ which is the react power which produces the magnetic field so you can see that B have a zero angle so you see that B here is drawing horizontal meaning it does have a zero angle and you see that plus JQ J here means that we are having a 90 degree so you see that the reactive power here is 90 degree from the real power okay so see that this vector of the real power let's uh, use the pointer the real power is horizontal the react power is 90 degree from it you see that here there is difference 90 degree leading by 90 degree and the summation of these two vectors gives us the apparent power supplied by our generator now in the end we understand real power react power and apparent power now the power factor which representing the useful power b over the total power which is the apparent power so this is called the power factor representing the useful power in um, uh, with respect to the apparent power so here is an example you will see that this is a uh, famous example of the uh, power factor for example we have a beer here or uh, pepsi or whatever you will find here this is the liquid which is uh, important for us or we sense it which is called the real power and the uh, gas here which is uh, or the fluid which is not important for us is called the reactive power which does not provide useful uh, power so the summation of these two gives us the apparent power now uh, you will see that here since it is a vector relation between them then s is equal to the square root of b square plus q square and here this angle is called the uh, power factor angle okay the cosine of this angle cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse so cosine phi is uh, b over s and we said that b over s is representing what representing the power factor so let's write it again you will see that uh, the relation between them the cosine cosine phi is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse so p over s okay so we said before that b over s which is active power with respect to reactive power is called what is called our power factor okay so that's why the phi is important to us okay phi or sometimes they called theta now what is the difference here okay let's delete all of this we have two types of power factor it's sometimes called a lagging power factor and sometimes called a leading power factor what is the difference between them if we draw it like this as if it is lagging power factor and this one is leading what does this mean this means that our current here lagging means that our current is lagging by an angle theta or theta from our voltage here it means that it is leading by theta so as an example v is equal to v maximum okay and angle zero okay and the current is equal to i maximum and angle equal to theta okay if it is positive means positive means it is leading the voltage so positive means leading the power factor if this angle is negative 
it means that our current is lagging from the voltage so it is lagging power factor so lagging and leading representing the uh, relation between current and the voltage with respect to the angle now what does a low power factor mean low power factor means that power factor equal to b over s so low power factor means that we have high apparent power high apparent power remember that the active power is constant this is the power required by our motors if we have a large reactive power large non-useful power this will cause the s to be very high so s very high means that our power factor is going to go down so the first problem is that we will need in this case high s machines or high apparent power machines which means we will need large kilovolt ampere rating of equipment the electric machines such as alternators which is generators transformers switch gears are rated in kilovolt ampere so this means that we will need higher kilovolt ampere machines which means higher cost it's clear that the kilovolt ampere rating of the machine is inversely proportional to the power factor you see that here higher s higher kilovolt ampere required means lower power factor the smaller power factor the larger kilovolt ampere rating therefore at a lower power factor the kilovolt makes the equipment larger and expensive another problem is that you will see here that the power the active power is equal to v the voltage multiplied by the current cosine phi okay why because v multiplied by the current voltage multiplied by current give us s which is the apparent power so as you remember that cosine phi or the power factor multiplied by s cosine phi multiplied by s give us the active power so p equal to the s which is vl i l or the v line i line or v phase i phase in case of single phase cosine phi so the amount of current flowing through our uh, transmission line to the load equal to the active power over the voltage multiplied by cosine phi so lower power factor or lower cosine phi means that we will need higher current in case of a three phase it will be root three v line i line or three v phase i phase now the problem is that we will have greater conductor size because we have higher amount of uh, current to transmit or distribute a fixed amount of power at a constant voltage the conductor will need to carry more current at low power factor this of course will need large conductor size another problem is the large couple losses high current means that i square i square which representing multiplied by r representing the losses inside our line so higher current means that our losses will also increase which will lead to poor efficiency of our uh, system another problem is the power voltage regulation the large current at a low lagging power factor high current means higher voltage drop greater voltage drops which mean, means that the voltage at the end of the line will be lower which of course not a good thing for our machines or our loads this results in the decrease the voltage available at the supply line at the supply end so in order to keep the receiving in voltage in the permissible limits what we will need we will need extra equipment such as voltage regulators uh, line compensators and etc so all of this is a problem for us so in order to solve the problem of a low power factor what are we going to do there are there are different methods of solving the uh, low power factor problem but one of the most important 
and the most common method is the capacitor banks so in the next video we will discuss how to use the capacitor banks in power factor correction